Hello folks, uh, Kathy Williams de Vries here and welcome you to the 20th of uh, 72 Rosé Etude Mini Masterclasses. Uh, we're up to the end of the first book, number 20. Um, and here we have a Polonaise. Um, and uh, Polonaise, um, or in the Italian Polacca, is a Polish dance in moderately fast 3-4 time. And its chief characteristic is a stately rhythm in a persistent pattern. And uh, the persistent pattern here is um, that little trill like, the, the little trill followed by the form semiquavers, comes up quite a lot. Um, and if I read a bit further, because uh, we've got the time, um, it's found in the works of Bach, for example, in the first Brandenburg Concerto and the second Suite for Orchestra, um, W.F. Bach, uh, Mozart in uh, the Kirschel 2A4 Piano Sonata, Beethoven, Weber and Schubert. And of course you've got Chopin's uh, great Polynesias, which can be either martial or funereal in expression. Um, for example, the Polonaise Fantasy Opus 61. Now this is a piece that uh, can be really played on its own. Um, it's it's quite interesting. There's uh, quite a few elements in there. Um, you've got a little bit of staccato work, which is good. Then you've got the return of um, which brings back memories of the and also number seventeen as well. A little bit for me, it does anyway. So you've got a little bit of trill work um, and uh, a little bit of arpeggio work. It's, it's got everything really, grace notes and uh, lots of dynamics, lots of um, contrasting dynamics, especially in the second part. Um, well, actually, there's three parts to it if you go uh, via the um, double bar lines. Um, so let's play through it. I tend to um, leave a little bit of space between the C and the trill E. Um, so we, we cut those off. Of fun. Now um, we've got that trill A to G. It helps if you work out how many trills you want. I generally do the two. Size in this next line, um, the the slurs. So really, I like to I like to droop on those a little bit. Because it really sticks out then um, from the staccato. So. And I think the composer actually wants you to do that. And then this I love this next section um, for the for the dynamic contrasts. Um, and then yeah, there's your staccato in it as well. And make that really meaty. It actually doesn't have staccato on it at all. It's just tongue. So really, really meaty, especially on the forte. And really droop on those as well. 
And I slow down a little bit here because we're back into that Polonaise rhythm again. And I know uh, the dynamic hasn't changed, but um, it's really calling out for a forte there. And be careful not to have your fingers still down for the C sharp. I tend to have it off completely. Um, so we're just up the octave here. down a little bit here mm, a bit of a typo on my part they don't have the um, the staccato over the G A B but um, I'm sure it's meant to be there um, so here drop down to a mezzo piano so that you can make the forte G in the at the end of the section really loud No, there's no accent over it, but uh, at least a tenuto. And then this next bit, um, really, really light and skipping. So really play it, play up to the audience here. That low G, you really bring that out. bring that out that's a really nice bit really um, really really fun piece and then we're back funny those two um, those two bits are real fun now in this next bit bum, 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 you really want it meaty again like we did with the although more so this time because um, we've got accents over them slow it down a bit even though it's not written and then louder here but not too loud because we've got to go up to a forte piece um, it's heaps of fun okay so let me play it um, all the way through for you
that is the 20th Rosé Etude of the 40 um, and the end of the first book. Please join me for the beginning of the second book and the 21st Rosé Etude.